Hi guys, it's Sarah Taylor. I'm gonna do a tutorial of how I varnish with a polyacrylic semi-gloss, clear semi-gloss. Um, <clears throat> this is a method I've come about through trial and error, and that's just kind of a foam brush and a spray bottle full of water. So, with my screwdriver, just opening up the polyacrylic. Um, the goal, of course, is not to have brush strokes and not to have any white streaking in your, in your finish. So you wanna make sure that your brush fits into the container. If not, you can pour some into a kind of a shallow bowl. Um, and then I'm just gonna take the water, and this is a 24 by 24 inch canvas. This painting has been curing for about two weeks, so I'm ready to go ahead and varnish it. Um, checking my pins at the bottom just to make sure everything's even and stable. You want it to be level, perfectly level doesn't make a huge difference here. And what I do is just spray the canvas with a coat of water. And some people water down their polyacrylic, but I find this to be a very effective way to get a little bit thicker coat than the thin watered down coats that you get with a watered down varnish. So I just kind of spread the water across with my hands <clears throat> um, until it's just a nice thin layer of water. And then dip the brush in, get a little bit of the excess off, and I start in the middle and go up and down all the way to both edges. And you want to do this fairly quickly. Um, it, this is not a methodical process. You, you only have so much time to play with the varnish. So, you know, I just want to get this first layer on and get it onto the canvas. Trying to get, you know, an even amount across. And then I'm gonna go up and down, back across. And then I take the back edge of the brush and I just pull it down. And with the extra water on the canvas, what this does is it just kind of floats that layer of varnish really nicely across the surface and you only really want to do that once um, if you keep going back over it and over it you're going to end up streaking and you you've got about two maybe three minutes to work with it so then i go from the on the sides i kind of go from the bottom up making sure not to get the brush onto the face of the canvas and i do the edges second because if there's any dripping from the top coat that I just put on this will kind of help clean that up and then you can get the same um, smooth finish on the sides pretty easily and if you happen to accidentally bump up onto the top um, really try to avoid doing that because you're gonna have to run your foam brush back down um, the top again which you really don't want to do once is enough <laughs> And I do a second coat when it's dry. So if it's not perfect, um, you kind of, you know, you get, an, I, you get another shot at it on the second coat. And this one actually turned out really good. Um, I'm gonna try to get some natural light. You wanna do it in natural light is the best way. And you see how it's just nice and smooth. You're not seeing any brush marks. And that's thanks to that coat of water that I put on the canvas, it makes a huge difference. I'm gonna show you another film view here. Nice glossy, smooth finish. And I'm gonna do another piece. I had two to varnish, so I thought we'd just go over this again. Same thing, gonna take my water, give it just a nice coat. Yeah, you want natural light, because um, you can really see what you're doing um, with, you know, in, in a window, instead of under fluorescent or artificial lighting. And I'm gonna do the same exact method here. 
kind of dip, get a little bit of the excess. Well, I didn't even get excess off there. We're just going to get a nice coat going. And when you start in the middle, you're going to get even from up from the up and down. So kind of start right in the middle, go up and down, up and down. Middle, up and down. Middle, up and down. This works really well. I went back the other direction, smooth it out, and then taking the flat side of the brush, just pulling down all the way across. Nice, even, kind of fast strokes. I didn't get quite as much water down on this one as I did the first canvas, and the first one was better. Um, so I am gonna do a second coat on this one for sure. And you see I'm kind of coming from the bottom of the edge up. If you try to do the, this, the edge from the top down, you're gonna probably disturb the front of the canvas. So it just takes a little practice, but if you hit the top on accident, um, you know, you've, you can always do another coat or you can try to run the brush up and down it again. But after even 60 seconds, you, you could potentially end up getting white streaks in the varnish. The trick is to really play with it as little as possible. The more it's touched, the more likely you're gonna have brush strokes and streaking. So I hope this was helpful and I'll let you watch the rest. Have a great day. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer. Um, I do the same exact thing with uh, Liquitex high gloss varnish. There's also another technique that's really great um, where you can get almost a resin effect with Liquitex high gloss. So maybe I'll do a video of that if I do it again. And we'll talk soon. Have a great afternoon or evening or morning. Take great care. Bye. Thank you.